Hey everybody, welcome back to the channel. In today's video, we're gonna be going over the four different ways that you can sell products on Amazon. These four different models have different nuances to them. Some are better for beginners, some are better once you have more experience. And I'm gonna be breaking down what those four models look like and how you can use them to create a successful Amazon business. Let's go ahead and jump right in. So the first Amazon business model is gonna be retail arbitrage. And this is one of the best ways to get started when you are a beginner. I have a video breaking down what retail arbitrage is. If you wanna watch that, as well but i'll go ahead and hit some highlights here retail arbitrage is basically the process of going into a retail store like walmart target dollar tree any kind of big box retailer you're going into that store and you're finding products that you can buy in store and then resell on amazon for a higher price arbitrage is just the process of finding place discrepancies and when we're doing retail arbitrage we're finding those products in store and then we're reselling them on amazon for a higher amount this is one of the best ways to get started as a beginner because arbitrage is overall more friendly and retail arbitrage specifically is great because you're able to actually physically see the products which i found helpful when i first started i think dollar tree is an excellent place to get started or whatever dollar store you have in your area because the products there are cheap so they're lower risk and they're often higher roi which can be really good for going your starting capital a specific form of retail arbitrage that a lot of people will get started with is books where you go to places like thrift stores yard sales estate sales and you just go through and you scan all the different books and you're finding products again that you can sell for a lot more books are great because they're also really cheap they also have high roi and they're just a great beginner friendly way to get started but overall I think the best way to get started is to do retail arbitrage and go into a dollar store. The second business model that you can use to sell on Amazon, and this is what most of my business is now, is online arbitrage. It's taking the same concepts that we just talked about in retail arbitrage, and it's doing that online. So instead of going in store and finding these big box retailers, we're going to be going to their websites and finding products online. So here we're going to these stores online, to their websites online. We are finding products on their websites that we can order, have sent to us, or to our prep center and then those are going to go to amazon just finding products that are undervalued selling for less on one place and then we can resell them on amazon if you're interested in this model i also have a video that we'll link right here breaks down the differences between retail and online arbitrage so that you can figure out which model is going to work for you but essentially i recommend that once you want to start scaling and growing your business online arbitrage is going to be the way to go because it just allows you to spend more money at inventory so much faster you don't have to drive to all the stores you have so many more products that are right in front of you so I highly recommend online arbitrage. The third business model is going to be wholesale. This is where you're buying products in bulk from a distributor or sometimes even directly from the brand and then you're reselling those on Amazon. Wholesale can be more expensive to get into and I would recommend getting your feet wet with one of the arbitrage, uh, traditional arbitrage methods and then starting to dive into wholesale. I do some wholesale but it is a pretty small percent of my business compared to online arbitrage. I definitely think that long term I will be transitioning more into wholesale percentage breakdown will start to kind of go more into the wholesale route because I see wholesale as being a better opportunity to scale long term. Online arbitrage is great but it does have some limits but who knows maybe I'll find some uh, limits that wholesale has as well but wholesale is basically you're just getting lar uh, larger quantities of items and then selling those on Amazon. So you'll often get better prices uh, so there can be increased profitability but there's also increased risk because you sometimes have to go deeper on those items as well. The number four way that you can sell on Amazon and I personally have no experience with this, but I just know it exists and I know some of the basics, it's gonna be private label. Private label is basically where you're having someone manufacture a product for you and you're creating your own brand and slapping that brand on that product. Then you are creating a listing and selling that product on Amazon. This is the by far the most expensive way to get into Amazon. And I would say one of the riskiest as well. So with all the other methods, you're looking at products that already have demand. We're using tools like Keepa to see that the products are already selling. We're seeing what price prices that they're selling for and then we're just capitalizing on these products that already exist and already have demand whereas with private label you have to create all your own traffic you have to run expensive ppc campaigns you have to create that traffic yourself which can be very expensive and very time consuming and then you're also it's just a whole new process with actually creating a product versus getting products that are already existing. So private label, it's pretty long-term. If you're going to be in the Amazon game, I would say it's gonna be like kind of like your long-term goal. You're gonna get into that last. But that being said, a lot of people do have a lot of success with private label and I have very little experience with this, so I'm not super qualified to talk on the subject, but I just wanted to give you a few of the highlights. All right, everyone, so I hope you enjoyed this video where I broke down the four methods that you can use for selling on Amazon. In summary, we have retail arbitrage, online arbitrage, wholesale, and private label. Let me know down below which method you're currently 
using or if you haven't started yet which method you're going to start with and that being said thanks for watching this video we'll see you in the next one